Hi everyone! Today we're going to be making this very simple and decorative hot pad for your hot pots and pans, or you can use this as a pot holder. And I am going to be using the Lion Brand Yarns Re-Up Recycled Cotton and Polyester Blend. And this is a size 4 medium weight yarn, but I have noticed that it's a little bit smaller than other size 4 yarns. So if you're using a different brand, then you might want to grab a slightly larger crochet hook. And the colors I'm working with are Rust and Mineral Springs. And I'll be using a size G or 6 or 4 and a quarter of a millimeter crochet hook. You also might want to grab a scrap piece of yarn or a stitch marker. And we're going to begin by attaching the yarn to our crochet hook using a slip knot. And we're going to begin to create a long chain rope. And once you've crocheted a long chain rope, go ahead and pull your crochet hook out of the loop. And you want to make sure that you can reinsert your crochet hook and add more chains whenever you need to. And we're going to insert our crochet hook in the very first chain of our chain rope. So this next part can be a little confusing, but I promise the pattern gets a lot easier after this. So we're going to begin with a magic circle. So we're going to take our tail and drape it over our working yarn and pinch that intersection. Then we want to slide our crochet hook up inside the loop. From here, keep a hold of your intersection while you yarn over and drop your loop as well as that chain stitch from your previous color. Now you're going to take your chain rope and line it up with your magic circle in that section where your tail and your loop meet right here. And from here we're going to place nine single crochets inside our magic circle while working over our chain rope. So make sure when you're placing your stitches that you're working inside your loop, over your tail, and over your chain rope. So it's not that complicated, but you just want to make sure that you're placing these stitches in the correct place. So go ahead and place your nine single crochets and I will meet back up with you at the end of the row. And once you have your nine single crochets in place, then pull on your tail to tighten the gap in your magic circle. I also recommend giving your chain rope a little pull to tighten it up as well. And from here, we're going to place two single crochets in each of our previous row stitches, starting with that first single crochet. And this is where the stitch marker will come in handy because we want to mark the first stitch of our row. We're also going to be working over our chain row while we place all of the stitches in this project. So I usually place my first two stitches and then mark the first of the two. So from here, we're just going to place our two single crochets in each stitch in the row until we get back to our stitch marker. So we should have a total of 18 single crochets when we're done. And when you make it back around to your stitch marker, go ahead and remove it. And the pattern for our next row is to place one single crochet in our first stitch and then two single crochets in our second stitch. And we're just going to continue that alternating pattern going all the way around our row. And when we get done, we should have a total of 27 single crochets. And you want to make sure that you mark that very first stitch of your row again, just like we did in the last row. And the pattern for our next row is to place one single crochet in our first two stitches and then two single crochets in our third. And we're going to repeat that going around our row. And when we get done, we should have a total of 36 single crochets.
And the pattern for the next row is to place one single crochet in your first three stitches and then two single crochets in your fourth. And you're going to repeat that going around your row and when you get done you should have a total of 45 single crochets. And the pattern for our next row is to place one single crochet in our first four stitches and then two single crochets in our fifth. And we're going to repeat that going around our row and when we get done we should have a total of 54 single crochets. And the pattern for our next row is going to be to place one single crochet in our first five stitches and then two single crochets in our sixth. And we're going to repeat that around our row and we should have a total of 63 single crochets when we're done. And the pattern for our next row is to place one single crochet in our first six stitches and then two single crochets in our seventh. And we're going to repeat that going all the way around our row and when we get done we should have a total of 72 single crochets. And the pattern for our next row is going to be to place one single crochet in your first seven stitches and then two single crochets in your eighth. And you're going to repeat that around your row and when you get done you should have a total of 81 single crochets. And the pattern for our next row is to place one single crochet in our first eight stitches and then two single crochets in our ninth. And we're going to repeat that around our row and when we get done we should have a total of 90 single crochets. And the pattern for our next row is to place one single crochet in our first nine stitches and then two single crochets in our tenth. And we're going to repeat that going around our row and when we get done we should have a total of 99 single crochets. And at the end of this row, what we're going to do next is just place a slip stitch in our following stitch. And from here, we're going to remove our chains until we have one loop sticking out. Then we're going to insert our crochet hook in that loop. And once you've inserted your crochet hook in that loop, then you're just going to insert your crochet hook in your next stitch and we're going to yarn over and pull through all the loops on our crochet hook. From here, we're going to chain one and then we're going to turn our work in the opposite direction that we've been working. And diving right into the first stitch from our last color, we're just going to begin to place one single crochet in each stitch around our row. And at the end of your row, you're just going to slip stitch into your first stitch with this new color like this. From here, we're going to cut and tie off our yarn. And I am going to weave this in the direction that I was crocheting for a few stitches and then I'm going to tie it to this end right here from our previous color and I'm just going to hide them down the ugly side of my pot holder. And from here we're just going to attach nine fringe knots to each of those nine little corners that we created using our increasing stitches. So I will link to my fringe tassel knot tutorial in the description for you. Thank you so much for working with me and I hope you have a wonderful, awesome day.